title of the job was host. That was our, what I was originally hired as. That was to clean tables, bust the tables after the families left. You know, there's dirty plates, cups, dishes, kids throwing stuff everywhere. Clean all that stuff up, help the servers out if uh, they need food to be brought to tables. Um, we have an electric or an electronic, basically like a big monitor iPad up front. We do everything electronically now where you actually have to set the tables to a specific amount of people and um, what server. So it's all electronic. So if you know how to use iPads and iPods and stuff like that, it's definitely going to be one of those necessary um, key things that you're going to need to know how to use. You're going to need to know how to use all the touchscreen stuff like that. You also need to take phone calls, which people are calling ahead to do, like the reservations and all that. You got to be able to take the phone calls and open the door. And you got to make sure that you get the door for people. The manager hates it when he sees people having to open their own door when they got a kid in their arms and the rest of their food in a bag bringing it home. So opening the door, cleaning the tables, busting the tables, answering phone calls, writing down the reservations, having a smile on your face while all this hectic stuff is going on can be hard, but that's definitely a key to it too. And just being genuine and nice to all the customers so they feel like a family. That's going to be one of the, this main job for the host. Work environment was very nice. The servers, the managers, everyone was very nice. Um, the only part that got really hectic was where the food was actually coming out of the kitchen. Cooks are trying to read the orders. We're trying to seat people. We're trying everything. Everyone's got to know where the tables are going, who's getting fed, who's going where, what's going where, whether a table needs a high chair for a little kid or a booster seat for a little kid or we run out of crayons, we gotta have, everyone's gotta work together as a team. It's, if you're one of those people that can't work in a team and can't communicate in a group work, you know, it's not the place for you. You've gotta learn how to voice your opinion when something needs, when, something, when you need something. You gotta let people know when you need help, when you've got five things on top of your head and you need, you need someone's help, you gotta let them know. It's just one huge family team working together to get one accomplished goal and including the managers and everyone's just there to help. So you've got to, you've got to know how to work in a group. Application interview process was pretty easy. I uh, did the application online. I was just looking for restaurant job, jobs. I was kind of sick of minimum wage jobs. So I want something with a little bit of the tip, cash money in it. So did the, did the online uh, form online and then called and set up a personal interview. I wanted to be the manager. so. I walked in and in a suit and a tie, just in nice clothes, just ready to meet him and said, hey, is our manager here? Just wanted to get my face in the door. You know, a lot of, you know, you see all these names on applications online, but it's, I think I thought it was important to put a name to my face. So when they're looking at my application, they remember, oh, he's a kid who came in looking nice. He wants this job. He's got eagerness. He's, you know, he wants it. So that was my first. And I had a, uh, he set me up with a interview, the first level interview with an assistant manager. So before I got to the big cheese, I had to go through a little one. So I had an interview with the assistant manager and that was the first interview. And if he liked me, he was going to send me to another interview with the, with the head manager. So things went really well with the assistant manager. He was really nice. Just asked me simple questions. You know, why do you want to work here? What's your background? And where, what do you, what do you need the money for? Stuff like that, you know, going to school and things went well. And I met with the uh, head manager and he loved me too, and he actually had my brother and I both at the same time. We were twins, so we actually did the whole interview process together. And they thought that was kind of cool because they, they have a whole family concept of family. Everyone's a family member at Carabas, so it was kind of cool to hire us both as twins because he thought it could really add a little uh, edge to the host team if you have the two brothers always working together and be, oh, these are the twins. They're always working together. So it was kind of cool. Exposure was why you're good working in a team. If you have some past experiences working in a team, definitely let the managers know that because they love to see that you can work together because that's all that a restaurant is. And um, just be yourself. You don't want to be someone that you're not because um, once you get put in that work environment, if you, you, know, you lie to get the job, you're not, it's not going to work out. And you've got to always have energy. If you're tired and you're sluggish and you don't want to move fast, it's going to be a problem because restaurants are very high paced, very very go, 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 go. You got to know what's going on. You always got to have your head in the game. You can't, you can't be thinking, you can't be taking a five minute break. There are no breaks. So you've always got to know what's going on. So once you know, once you start getting everything together, um, the interview process was really easy. I, I, managers are always nice. They didn't really hound you too badly or act mean or anything like that. They just wanted to know why you would benefit their team. So it, it was a good process.